and we're back guys adjusted microphone take four two computer crashes one power outage we're gonna do this and <laughs> that doesn't sound too good in the last episode we just made it back we made it in here we uh helped uh Wally get his first Pokemon and we're gonna get the same Pokemon actually so I'm gonna do search this book right bush right here I'll meet you back when I find one and I'll show the battle all right see you then all right one thing about Wurmple I didn't tell you is that it can either evolve into a bug poison type or bug flying type <coughs> but it's completely random how what it turns into it's based on internal values or whatever I can't remember what it's called look it up on Bulbapedia the Bulbagarden.net for specifics I don't like to use them that much but well, you can't. It's all right. Right here we have that water grass type that I was telling you about back at the pond with the things around. It's an it's a pretty good water grass type if you chose a fire starter. It's like the best way to complete like a triad of ailments that beat each other with just one Pokemon. Well, two Pokemon. Yeah, it's pretty all right. I've never used it myself. It's I've just seen that it's good. But since we already have a water starter and I've already had some party members planned out then we're not going to take them look at that the fight right after I find that low Ted that I told you about boom mail rolls now I want to just tackle him. that's our strategy for this just destroy him he's just gonna start spamming grell I hope I don't get a critical like I did the first time I tried to fight one of these which was like two takes ago Alright, let's speed this up right a bit. And we should easily check it. Alright, and uh bag. Use Pokeball. Go Pokeball! Yeah, we got this baby in the sack. I got it. We got this. Hell yeah. Gotcha, Ralts was caught. Um, since the last one I caught that the take got erased from Buzz. You know, I don't know what I'm gonna use. Number 29, Ralts Feeling Pokemon. Height, 1 foot 4. Weight, 14.6 pounds. A Ralts has the power to sense the emotions of people in Pokemon with the horns on its head. Uh, it takes cover if it senses any hostility. Hold on. Uh, crap, I did this wrong. Mm -mm -mm. No, 12. <laughs> Failure. Alright. Hmm, give a nickname to the captured Ralts. I will. Mm. Hot diggity damn. <laughs> I should have planned this in the future. Oh, someone's spiritual. Um, didn't really think this through. I'll meet you back when I find one. Alright, I just got the name. I, I just, boom, exploded in my brains. Alright, I think you guys know what this is. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Certain one that has psychokinetic powers. Yes, it's Ninten from Earthbound Zero. A.K.A. Mother. Which I will be helping pretty soon. I haven't gotten around to that. Alright, let's check out this, um, Nin 10. Ah, oh, synchronize. That's a very useful ability. If someone gives you a status ailment, it will also give them the status ailment. Bold nature, I believe that increases attack, but that is really bad. No. Bold reduces attack. I think it, like, ups defense? I don't know, based on stats. Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Yeah, all I know is growl. So we're gonna have to use some PK hacking. Just kidding, we're just gonna f switch him to Prime of Party and whenever we get in the battle, just boom, be awesome with it. Pokemon Center, yes. Okie dokie. Oh, I should speed this up because I'm that cool. Oh, I hope this time is going. Yes, alright. Probably just gonna make it just past 50 minutes. I'm gonna have to like speed up like five seconds of this, and it's gonna piss me off. I, 
I really don't feel like going back there. Alright, who's this mysterious man with glasses? Excuse me, let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Oh, hell no. He'd not just give me the triple dot. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer, or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Oh, well, screw you too, buddy. I'm a Pokemon master. Go on, I'm gonna kick his ass. Fine! What do you gotta say? If you're gonna throw a Pokeball, we can wild Pokemon first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, if you put status elements on it, it'll, like, do that stuff. Oh, no, I'm not a trainer. But that's right. Trainer's lock, guys. It's a chance to battle. Don't want to battle, stay out of sight. Yeah, it's just basically what I've told you before. I kick this guy's ass. Talk to him. <laughs> Darren, oh, get back here. Yes, there we go. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. <laughs> so it's kicking your ass, buddy. Uh, dude, I never noticed that effect before because I play on a little tiny mm, Game Boy Advance screen. Alright. Gonna get out Onyx. Shit. I forgot to buy some potions. Nintendo, that's enough. Come back. Go Onyx. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, I'm just gonna keep in all these battles that I get right now because I'm too lazy to fucking rat bastard. That rat bastard ass mother snake. Oh, he's pretty soon he's gonna start using sand attack. I can guarantee it. Yeah, now I ain't gonna shizzle for damage. Oh, ain't that bad. Tackle off. Be damage. Yeah. And the, oh, start doing like two damage or one damage to him. Start howling, but I'm speedy. Just press the button. Go. Sort of guy. I don't even care about most of the time about stat boosts. I'm just like, go, go, go. Kill him. Wipe him out quick. Mm, it's usually reckless. Gets my HP down quick. It screws me over. Yeah, we're in the red. Ah, oh, it's just gonna lower my defense. No biggie. Uh, I'm gonna kill him right now, anyways. See? I'm gonna have to run town back in the town after this. Okay, C dot. Mm, switch to Ninten once again. Goddamn. See, this, my friends, is C dot, a grass type Pokemon. Fully evolved form is Grass Dark. I don't like its move set though. It's like, ugh, that's great stats though. To get it like really good, you have to like use TMs and HMs. I'm guessing my Mudkip is like the best way to take this guy on, cause he is powerful. Okay, when he uses Bide, I just wanna not attack him. Just use anything that like <sighs> storing energy. Yeah, cause what'll happen is. During all the damage that he takes using Bide, he'll unleash that double on you after he's finished. Full nice energy. Nothing happened. See, because I'm taking is going to use Bide again, I think. I'll just use Growl just to be safe. Yep, what I tell you. And it does not matter how much you lower his attack. It will still unleash double damage on you. Unleash energy. Yeah, but it failed. Like you do at life. Should you be able to. Ah. Yeah, raise your defense, but your attacks can be crap. Yeah. Okay, I'm reckless, man. Reckless. Recklessness, man. Ah, uh, harden just one, just a basic move that, you know, ooh, yeah, critical hit, bypasses his, um, raising of stats, yeah, and I'm still just gonna destroy him, I'm gonna tell you, well, not, okay, this would increase his special attack, which doesn't matter anyways, because I'm just gonna kick his ass right here, right now, on the spot, he's done for, critical hit yet again, uh, jeez, too bad that couldn't have happened. Ooh, another fine. He might use learn confusion. Nope, never mind. Mm 
Sand got my runners. They're all gritty. Oh, young child. You are so funny. Alright, we got six minutes left. We can use. Alright. Oh, Alright, I'll be back with like three potions or so. See you then. And we're back. I believe in the same exact spot. I'm gonna talk to these guys, see what's up. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Foreshadowing much. Ho <laughs> ho. I fish up a tough looking Pokemon. This is quite magical quality to it. Drillic stuff. Yes, it does. Alright. Time to take some more ice. Alright, let's speak something though. Oh, Alright, Magic Heart, that water type Pokemon. Worst Pokemon ever. <laughs> uh, uh, once it falls, it has like insane attack power. But this is like a perfect opportunity because in this beginning stage, I mean, it'll learn tackle later on. Also, no splash. That does absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I can't wait to get fight on the song. I mean, that's like a great sort of attack to it, but and it makes a flinch, but it has lower PP. It has like 25 PP. Alright, got five minutes on the clock. Yeah, he has good defense though. Oh yeah, critical hit. Punch! Yes! Ugh! Come on! Yes! Ugh. Come on! Yes! Ugh. Damn! Whoa! Oh, again? Dude, come on, Onyx. You're a beastly attack dog. Fish should not, like... Ugh, you shouldn't face fish that's flopping on the ground. Yeah, doesn't give them much experience, but it's just an easy way to get free experience. That's a little... It's just a little time consuming. Mr. Brandy's Cottage. Who is this Mr. Brandy? He has a boat. No, no one here, I guess. I guess we'll go up north and see what's going on there. That's Eastside Cottage where Mr. Brandy lives. He was watching Mighty Sailor and never fear the sea. However, story. Okay, well, I guess we'll take these horn berries. Oh, yes. I just remembered something useful that I completely forgot to do. Yes, I'll pick up these fish. I should be watching this along. I mean, I should be saving this let's play. Alright, I'm gonna put an orange berry on Onyx and on Mudkip. I mean, Onyx and Kip. Gosh, okay, berries, yes. Give them, when they run, start to run low on health, they will automatically use the item. As long as it's like, as long as it's like a berry, there's certain items along the way that I will show you and like tell you what they do. Oh, hey, baby. What's fate to me? May I ask you for a battle? Why, oh, certainly. Oh, I have three minutes in this battle. This is Zigzagoon. Going in ten. Um, he can't do crap yet. Let's send out Onyx to do the job. Oh, tackle. Oh, I think, we're, I think it's gonna hurt us. See, see, he uses that. And then he's all like, Pshow, kill you. Oh, that bastard, that rat bastard. Yeah. Come on! Now he's probably selling like a blueberry now. Uh, damn! It's Onyx, I'm loving you right now. Alright, we're gonna switch out to a uh, mudkip. He's getting, he's getting hurt pretty bad. Onyx is. Dude, who the hell uses a full restore on a freaking Zigzagoon, for God's sake? I'm gonna start spamming this on you, like you usually do. Dude, that was awesome, not gonna lie. Now I think it's a good, better time than any to explain Stab, which is the same type of attack bonus. Basically, when you have a Pokemon that has a, like, let's say, this Mudkip, Ground type, he's using Ground type move as base damage 10 and multiplies that by 1.5, so it'll be 15 base damage instead of 10 base damage. That's really useful later in the game. Let's say we have to move Bites, 65 attack, uh, base attack power, multiply that 1.5, that, oh, uh, wait, no, okay, no, we're just gonna do it like super effective fit, 65 times 2 is 130, and that times 1.5 is like 180, 170, 165, somewhere around that, I don't know, my math is off. All right. I'm just, I'm just, oh, shoot, the point does a crap ton of damage. Alright, we're gonna go to our bag, use a... Oh, I'm gonna give that to, uh, Onyx. Again, because we so mercilessly wasted the last one in a slaughter. He needs that, yes, and right here is the the woods of whatever. Heidelberg Woods. What can await us inside these woods? Find out next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. This is Umbreon1930, signing off.